Well, this is Max and Hattie. Max is the red tail and Hattie. And uh, this is uh, where I've just fed them each a quail. Max, the red tail, he's up in the uh, up in their nest. And of course, you see Hattie the Harris below. But they've been uh, they've been together now for about six seasons hunting together. This is the second year that I've molted them together and you can see they're in this uh, uh, flight and uh, in the inside and the roof are covered with a vinyl shade cloth. I don't have to worry so much about the Harris Hawk. She doesn't fly against the uh, wire. But Max, he's quite a bit more hyper and skittish during the molt than she is. But, you know, you can kind of see here, they, they get along fine. As long as I make sure they both have something to eat at the same time. There's no squabbling over food. And they both, you know, in the night time, if they want to go in there, they both go in there. They don't sit next to each other, but you know, they have a separate perch they can sit at. But this is the second year I've attempted to try to see if they'll breed, and, you know, I've seen a little activity as far as just getting up in the nest and rearranging the sticks, and, but no courtship or breeding behavior that I've seen. So... I don't know that I'll put them up early next year. I think I'll go ahead and maybe hunt them through the hunting season. I kind of missed a lot of, uh, of hunting them together. I'll be retiring this year, so I'll have more time to hunt them and my, my other red tail Cheyenne. But here's, you know, kind of typical what you're going to see from them, those two. Okay, I think Max has now either had all he wants and finished, so we'll kind of see how they... Yeah, that's kind of typical. Old Hattie kind of rules the roost during the molt season. But during the hunting season, it's exactly the opposite. Uh, Max, the red tail, he, he captures all the prey and... And she would not come in on him if he's caught something and, and brought it down. So there he is. Yep, turned the molt. He's kind of the low man on the totem pole. But his time comes in the hunting season. She, he'll be top dog at that time. So it looks like Max, he's finished his quail. Hattie's still eating a little bit. But, you know, during the molt, just things kind of change quite a bit. Hattie's the more dominant bird. Max won't bother her. Uh, if, he's, if he's full, he won't bother her. But during the hunting season now, you know, this wouldn't happen. Uh, you know, Max would, if, if, if Hattie had something, he would come in and take it. Uh, but if Max has caught something during the hunting season, uh, Hattie would definitely not come in on Max. She just waits above and waits for me to cut something off and pitch it up to her. But it's strange how the roles reverse during the molt and they're fat. Let's see what she does. Mm 
Anyway, this is Max and Hattie. Both are wild caught birds. Max is about is six years old and Hattie is, mm, I don't know, probably 14. During the molt, she's the dominant one of the two. But it's exactly the opposite during hunting season. Yeah, Max is kind of cleaning up Hattie's leftovers.